know, centers of philanthropy are incredible and doing absolutely outstanding work. But in the beginning, uh, there weren't any. And the first vision came from Bob Payton in Indiana, the University, Indiana University. The first vision came from Bob Payton. And uh, the IU Center was fortunate in having substantial funding from the Lilly Endowment, focused on Indiana, but with a national perspective and became a national voice. Again, the leadership of the Kellogg Foundation and Russ Mobby, the vision, said, why don't we have something similar in the state of Michigan? So Russ asked if the Council of Michigan Foundations, again, a member asking an association, if we would sponsor a conference, which we did in Lansing, for every college, university, community college, we invited the president, and the idea was to express the vision of the centers and what could be achieved. Brian O'Connell, who was then CEO of Independent Sector, spoke. We had people from IU speaking, and the vision was thrown out. Interestingly, I led a session there on what kind of research could be done, and I was thrilled. The room was packed when I walked in, and I was looking at all of these faculty members thinking, they're undertaking research to help the nonprofit sector. Wrong. There were three in the room who were doing that, and the other 80 were there to seek funding. So we knew we had an issue with that. But the Kellogg Foundation threw out the initiative to all the universities, and we had the president and usually a dean or a provost there. And Grand Valley, with the leadership of President Don Lubbers, submitted the best proposal to create this. The university at that point, I think they put in $500,000 back then to get this launched. And it's been almost 20 years, and it's been highly, highly successful. Other schools in the state have an individual professor or maybe two within a department that are talking about similar issues, but it is not nearly the comprehensive program. Today, the uh, GVSU Center is, I would say, one of the top three in the nation.